this is Sherry at DJSundayDropboxBot.com and I am going to do a Coco Daisy unboxing. Now I don't do these every month but I really wanted to do one this month because I'm so excited about this kit. So I haven't, um, I have just loosened it but I haven't opened it yet and we are just going to dive right in. Now um, because I was excited about this kit I did order a few extras which you will see um, in here. So, including the classified kit, so um, I will open this at the end. It's a spoiler alert, and I will warn you before I'm opening it so that you don't, if you don't want to see what's in here, um, you can stop the video when it comes to that. And then we have some other goodies in here. I honestly can't even remember what all I did order extra, so some of it will be a surprise to me too but I loved the colors and the fill of this kit so much so I'm going to set the main planner kit aside and we'll come back to that so um, the first thing we have here is the little card um, and it's this kit this month is called fresh cut so um, this is talking about it and it's the note from Christine at Coco Daisy on the back so um, I'm really liking these yellow chevron um, zigzag pieces on this, and I this is um, this is a Daisy Day planning kit. Now I remembered that I had ordered a the small like the mini Daisy, but I didn't expect other stuff with it, so I'm very curious about what's in here. So that's kind of exciting. Um, so this is the book and I did order this um, mini because I was um, super excited about the colors and stuff in this kit and I do carry a pocket um, traveler's notebook with me. Um, I, I carry it in my purse and I do a lot of things with it and so I thought this would be perfect for that size. And I haven't decided completely what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but this is just kind of what it looks like on the inside. So it's got some to-do lists, first things first, um, for me, lots of lists. And, and I could do like a daily page setup on this, but I don't think I will. It will probably be more of a note-taking um, type thing. But again, I haven't really decided what to do with it. So I did order this separately. Um, and I didn't subscribe to that kit. I just ordered it as a one-time thing. So then, whoops, did not need to throw that. Sorry about the crinkling. So then, let's see what these goodies are. Like I said, I did not remember ordering these. So this is um, a mini paper set, um, and it's got, let's just open that right up. It's got some four by six cards um, that are two-sided. Um, so they're not really necessarily papers, um, they're different cards. Well, some can be used as papers, it just depends. Hello spring, nice to see you. I don't know about where you live, but where I'm living, I, I'm looking forward to spring. And then it's got some of the smaller cards. Um, and these are like the, I, I, you know, I, I probably did actually order these. These are um, the pocket memory keeping cards. And I just, again, I love the color so much. And um, I don't know, I just like watercoloring, as you know, if you watch my stuff. Um, so um, I just wanted to have some extra cards. So I think I do vaguely remember ordering these. Like I said, I was so excited about this kit. So then moving on, this is the planner kit. And I get the standard Dory planner kit um, because that's the size that I use the most and this is just full of stuff so I'm pulling everything out and then um, I'm going to set some of it aside and we'll come back to it so let's set that aside this is this month's pin isn't that beautiful I don't know if you can really see that I'll try to bring it up closer isn't that just gorgeous with the little um, middle like this which you know most of the pins this year have had that the January pin uh, I thought I had it still sitting on my desk the February pin is in my planner but the January pin was the black and white polka dot which was gorgeous 
Um, I think I guess I did keep it. Now with the new pens that they're doing, one thing that I found with both January and February, and I'm seeing now with March, at the tip of the pen, again, I'll bring that up closer, it has a daisy in that. Isn't that fun? It's just, they do such a great job with the branding. So let's just pull the dot off. I really like the way these write. Um, and I did go ahead and go to Jet Pens and grab some extra ink refills for when they run out. I've not had, uh, I think I did have one pin run out to my Christmas pin. Um, but I want to have them because I want to continue to use them. So that's the pen. And then um, the sticky notes in this kit um, are like paint swatches. Um, so um, just like a quick water brush paint. What I don't know is are they all the same color or are they different colors? So let's just take a look. They are all the same color in this pad. So these are the sticky notes. Super fun. And then we have a couple of clips. And you know, I never really used these that much in my planning until I subscribed to Coco Daisy with the charms and stuff on them. I mean, I use clips and stuff, but not like this. And I'm finding that I'm using these more and more. I really like how this has this little stopwatch on it. Isn't that fun? And then the crochet flower. So those are the clips. And then this is the die cut pack. And um, when I do a planner video in the next video, I'll show you how I'm using some of these tabs. Um, and it's kind of a fun way because the die cut pad usually has tabs and then usually the sticker um, pack does as well that comes in the planner kit. But I found um, a way that I think is fun to use um, one of these tabs every month and then other tabs I just use for various and sundry things. Um, so then we have this little set of paint brushes, which is super fun, and um, watercolor flower pot. Just simple. I just really liked this kit. I think it's because um, I enjoy watercoloring myself. So there's there some of those die cuts. Those will be fun. Now this month also included a um, notepad cover. Now this is the first one that they've done like this since I believe September or September or November. It was before I subscribed anyway. And so um, maybe it was November's kit. So let's just rip it. I'm not, it's not going back in there so it doesn't matter to me to rip it. Um, so I, this is the first time I've received one of these and I really like it. So this is the cover, um, front and back. And so then it, the pad, the paper pad that comes in the monthly kit every month, uh, well, obviously every month, there's always a paper pad in there. And so this is designed to hold your paper pad right here with a pin. And then you can carry it, you can keep it with your planner items, or you can carry it in your purse or whatever you want to do with it. I haven't decided yet how I'll use mine. Um, but I am excited to get it because it's just a fun way to hold your paper pads and stuff, um, stuff things in the pocket too. But the colors are just phenomenal and I'm just really enjoying this. So moving on to the rest of the kit, the planner kit. And again, I subscribe to the planner Dory kit. Now this year they are changing, or this um, month, with this month coming up, um, I don't know if it was this one or if it's the next one. You can have the option if you choose to subscribe to Coco Daisy that you don't get this with it. Now for now, for me, I'm going to keep getting this just because I do use this and I like it. Um, and I like to have a book that I finish every um, month. Now, are there sometimes some blank pages? Yes, there are. So that is kind of the downside to it because I'm not doing well enough that I'm filling it completely, but I do like switching it out every month. So for me, for now, I'm going to keep this. But with this new option, you can choose to get all the goodies without the insert. So this month's insert, again, that watercolor theme carrying through. March is my birthday month and I love flowers, so I just really love this insert. And it's perfect for me for, um, the way I do my plan. I've made this really work for me and I am thoroughly enjoying it. So this is the monthly insert. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you can see at a glance how, how cute that is. 
So then typically in a Coco Daisy kit, there's a tag, which I'm sure you're aware, but this one's just a simple watercolor or splotchy tag, which um, I'm doing more and more of the splotchy watercolor. I'm not an artist, but I do enjoy doing splotchy watercolor. So I'm doing more in that that of my own stuff too. So then you've got your sticker packs. These are standard every month you get um, these stickers. Now the first month I subscribed, I didn't realize that this was the sticker um, sheet that came in. You can actually order this one separately too, so I did. So I ended up with two of the exact same thing, which I didn't really need. So I haven't made that mistake again, but isn't that, isn't that really cute? I just really like it. And then this, this littler um, piece of stickers has things like your planners, your goals, um, your mail planners, Hello March, I usually put in my smaller planner and those kind of things. So then, then there's a, then the second or third, I guess, sticker sheet that always comes in it. Again, there's the title up here of March. I usually put this in my larger, my daily planner. Um, and I usually put that on the month at a glance page somewhere. And then there's some sticky tabs and different things that you would use. And they change a little bit to some degree. I mean, pretty much standard what's up here, the shapes and stuff, they, they stay very similar. Um, but what you do with them kind of changes a little bit. So like this one, um, I think in February was like a circle with almost like a piece of pie. Um, even though it wasn't a pie. So they, they change them out, but then you've got your standard stuff that you'll use all the time. So I really like these stickers. And then um, there are always a few papers. Oh, this is gorgeous. I don't remember seeing this one, and I haven't watched anybody's unboxing videos this month, but this is a piece of vellum with um, that's watercolored, but the centers are all gold foiled. Isn't that pretty? That'll make something really pretty. And then um, the papers are double-sided. So we've got this one, and there's the back. Um, so obviously the next one matches that. So then we've got this one, and the back side is the flower. Uh, this is an alphabet, back side is splotchies, and then this is the back side of the alphabet. So you, can al you always have two pieces of the pattern paper so that you can mix and match and use one side or the other. Um, so that is the set of papers that came with the standard dory. Um, so this is my standard dory kit. This is the um, little extra mini dory that I bought just for this month. Like I said, I don't subscribe to this one, but I thought I would use this one. And then I believe these are the um, memory keeping pocket cards that I added extra. So now is the spoiler alert. So if you want to wait to get your classified kit before you see what it is, because I mean, sometimes surprises have the fun, right? So if you want to do that, shut the video off now. And then um, I'm going to show the classified kit. So if you're still hanging out with me, here's the classified kit and let's see what's in it. Again, I've not watched any unboxing videos this month. I've not looked at any of the um, images on Facebook, so I will be surprised with the rest of you. Oops, before I do that, this was the washi tape that was in the regular planner kit, and it was off to the side. It matches the color, so I just saw that sitting over there. So this is this um, the washi kit that is in the classified. Let's just open that up without stabbing myself so that you can see that. Um, this is similar to other washies that I have received from Coco Daisy before, but it's also a little bit different. Um, but it is, um, it gives you a watercolor effect of them. Let's see if I can find the edge. There it is. Pull it across. There we go. See that? Isn't that pretty? Just simple, um, great thing to use for dividers. I like that width. Um, sometimes this is just a tad bit too wide, and I want, but I also sometimes want a little bit more than my narrow wash, washi tape, so this is a great width. So that's in there. So let's see what else am I feeling. Oh, look at that. I have to say, I am not a lime green girl, but I, this is going to be gorgeous because it matches these colors. So um, it's a vinyl, it looks like, clip. 
I have never had a clip this big in my planner. So I, oh, that's really fun. On one side, it's it's really thin vinyl. On this side, it almost feels like, mm, like a really soft velour or something. But the other side's vinyl. And it's really very lightweight. So I, that's going to be gorgeous in the top of my planner. I'm already thinking what planner I'm using for March. And I think we're going to go with my old Foxy Fix butterscotch. So then there is a um, Simon Spring Bait Break. Ugh, I can't read. Simon Spring Break Checklist. So just a little um, pocket card for remembering keeping or whatever you want to use it for. And oh, it still keeps coming. Let me make sure. Oh, oh, there's more. So there's another set of um, sticky notes. Um, and this one is paler in color. Let me pull the other one if I can see where I buried it over here in the piles. Um, I think it's a lighter. Okay. So this one is more of a blush pink. This is the one that came in the regular planner kit. This one is more peach in color. So um, again, super cute. And um, the adhesive on this one, I could tell when I was pulling the pink, super strong. Um, and so it's going to stick to your pages really well. So really cute. This piece of vellum um, is also, I was going to say it's peach, and it is, but when the light catches it just right, it almost has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I'm sure that the camera's not picking up, but it's just when I look at it just right, it's not really foil, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to those dots. So then there are two sheets of stickers. Um, this one, Tell Me a Story with Flowers, Stay Positive. There's some flowers on here. Several um, different sayings. And then this one, um, more sayings and more flowers. And I just, uh, they're just so pretty. And then as we come to the end, there is a, status, a set of stamps, which um, is a nice alphabet size which I'm looking forward to using in my planner. I did pull an old Close to My Heart set for um, a one of my inserts that I'm using for a particular pur uh, purpose this month. And so I pulled that and it was very similar to this. Um, but I think that these are just a tad bit smaller, which I kind of like because it'll be nice to have this size in the planner. So you've got your entire alphabet and uppercase, but then you've got different lines and squiggles. So you've got just different arrowed lines straight, but most of them are squiggly, curly cue almost, and then there's this one flower. So it gives you a lot of options. So that is the classified kit for um, this was available in February. Last I checked, they were still available, but I haven't been on the website for a few days. So you might want to check it out um, soon um, because I have a feeling these kits are going to go very quickly because they're just so beautiful. And also, you want to have everything here in time to start your March planning before March gets here. So I hope you've, seen, uh, you've enjoyed that. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.